I'm Father Lewis Gerdy with Friends of the Word. We're here once again at the Father English Community Center in Patterson, New Jersey, a cooperative adventure between the community and the Diocese of Patterson. Uh, I just want to quote a section from Matthew's Gospel 15. Jesus is trying to feed the crowds. So he asked, how many loaves do you have of his disciples? Then he ordered the crowd to sit down. They had seven loaves and a few fish. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. And that is the beginning of our mission, how Jesus feeds the crowds with only a few pieces of bread and fish. Carlos is our director of the Community Food Bank, the, uh, excuse me, the Father English Center. We just interviewed members of the Community Food Bank outside. Welcome, thank Carlos. Thank you. For, thank you, Father. And thank you for welcoming us here. Thank you. And every time I'm doing this, I always think about what you just read. And we see that here. We see how God feeds all these people with very little, and everybody walks out happy as ever because they're taking some food home. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, what I wanted to show you is how we do the process, how we give food out to these people. And let me just explain this to you. Before, we used to just give you bags of food, and then one day we realized that that was not the way to provide food to our clients. We needed to treat people with dignity and respect, and not because they are in need, they have to just take a bag of food and go home and try to do whatever they can with it. So we decided to change the system because we are nobody to tell these people what to eat. So what we have right now is more like a supermarket food pantry, which is great. We allow people to go inside, little shopping carts, shopping like if they were in any supermarket. Now, what we do is we created a point system because we do want people to have some control of what people are taking and how much they're taking. So what we do is when people come to register, they get a certain amount of points. Like, for example, a single person gets 20 points, two people get 30, three people get 40, and big families get 65 points. Now, when they go inside, which I'm going to have a chance to show you, everything has a point value. For example, the pasta is one point, cereal is two points, tuna fish is two for one point. So if you have 20 points, you are using those points to buy food, like if you are in a regular supermarket. Because, once again... We have to have the minimum that we need as a human being is a plate of food, and we all belong to the same God, and, and we are all the same. Different circumstances, different problems, but we are all the same. Mm, great. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, come inside. And you're going to see our backs as we walk into the, the shopping center, I guess. Yes, this is your... Me, okay. Okay. So, when people register, and then they get the little shopping cart, as you can see right here. And this is where they start. We are not giving them cereal because we don't know what they like. They are going to pick up their own cereal. For example, kids love this kind of cereal. <laughs> so if a kid comes, this is what they're going to take. Kids do come here. Oh, yeah. Sometimes kids with moms and dads, yes. especially during the summertime. Moms, they are looking for healthy stuff, so they will go for this thing. So... I really do not know what they like. They get a chance to pick. The good thing is that that's what we're doing, the way we're doing it. Sometimes the sad thing is that we do not have a lot for them to choose from, but we always have something. Okay? Beautiful. Now, we come and these And these are the shopping carts that they use. Carts. Exactly. Great. I'm telling you, this is a supermarket. It is a super. It's free a sewer super. super. <laughs> free food, but it's a supermarket. Then, how is the food brought here? Who? Donates it. We have a lot of parishes, thank God, they do food drives and they bring it here. Sometimes we go and pick up. We have a truck, we have a driver, and then we go to the community food bank to get government food and also boot food that we buy on a regular basis. And uh, sometimes people just come on, knock on the door. Sometimes people go shopping for us. We give them a little list of the things that we need, and they get everything that, that is on the list. Then they come down here, they put the food on the shelves, and then they actually get to see how people take the food and the expression on their faces, oh, which is incredible. Fantastic. Yes. And we have enough pumpkin pie fillings for a long... <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are some things that go faster than others. Right. Granberry sauce, oh, boy, that takes a, lo a long time for people to take. <laughs> but they do take it, and things like this. But on the other hand, 
juices, rice, pasta. Those are the things that we always have to keep buying or getting because that's what goes the most. Excellent, excellent. Okay, if you okay, want to come here. another room. Here we are as people are organizing the shelves here at the Father English Community Center. Just walk by, just ignore us. We just went to the food bank. Somebody, there is a school here in Paris and they donated money. So we went to the food bank and as you can see, we have food in the truck that my guys are actually getting uh, because we have to get the place ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna see at least between 80 to 85 families. So we have to have food for them to actually pick from. Choose. Now why tomorrow? How can you predict that specifically for tomorrow? Uh, because I know exactly what's going on, and it's, Chris, it's we are right around Christmas. People are getting ready for the holidays. Tomorrow is Saturday. We are opening. Um, we Before, we didn't open on Saturdays, but we felt that we needed to do that because we have a lot of programs here, and the kid, those kids, mom and dad, they have to work, so they don't have time to come and get food. So we open Saturdays just for those programs. So I know more or less how many families I'll be getting tomorrow. This has been Father Louis Skirty interviewing Carlos here at the community, excuse me, here at the Father English Community Center with some of the food that was just brought in from the Community Food Bank. We're going to pick this up again, have another episode as we continue our tour of the shopping center. God bless you. Keep the word alive and well. Thank you.